Here's a very cool spider that I just recently learned about, the pelican spider. So pelican spiders have been like a known thing for a while. There was fossil evidence of them found a while ago, but the first living specimen was found in the 1880s in Madagascar. So they've been kind of known about for a while, but they are very, very cool. And actually a brand new species was just discovered last year in Australia. So they are called pelican spiders because they quite obviously look like a pelican in profile. They have long front jaws that look like the beak and also a pretty long neck. Now, while this does look a little bit ridiculous, it does have a very important function, which is where they get their other name from, the assassin spiders. They get that name because they prey entirely on other spiders, which is very rare because most spiders will just eat anything they can catch, but these guys specifically eat other spiders. And they do that using their very long jaws and neck to be able to safely grab spiders without the risk of getting bit by the other spiders that they're trying to eat. They are very well adapted to hunting and finding other spiders. They don't make their own webs, but they follow what are called drag lines, which other spiders leave behind. It's basically just the string of silk that the spider leaves behind as it walks. So the assassin spider will basically crawl around looking for these drag lines, and when it finds one, it follows those lines to the spider, at which point it attacks it and impales it on its little fangs right at the end of the jaws, where basically just holds it at, har at arm's length, sorry, until the other spider dies, at which point it can safely eat it. It can also walk safely on other spiders' webs, which also again is rare because usually it's specific to the spider that builds it who can walk on it and not get caught in the stickiness, but they can walk on other spiders' webs and also they sometimes like stand on the edge of the webs and like trigger the um like vibrations in the web so the other spider who built the web thinks that there's prey caught but actually it's not it's the spider so when it goes over to investigate instead of finding a fly or another meal it gets eaten by the assassin spider so a very cool if odd looking spider that i just recently learned about and i think that is really cool